Hello, photographers. Our cameras have tons of different settings on them and it can get really overwhelming, but the truth is most of those settings are superfluous. They can help you take the kind of photos you might wanna take, but they're not really necessary. So what I wanted to share with you today is the six settings that every photographer should focus on learning so that they can take any kind of photo with any kind of camera. And those first three settings all go together. Now you're not probably not going to be surprised by these, but those are the ISO, aperture, and shutter speed settings. And if you're not familiar, the ISO controls how sensitive your image sensor is to light. The aperture controls how much light comes into the camera through an opening in your lens. And the shutter speed is how long the camera sensor is actually exposed to the light coming in through the lens. All three of those things control your exposure, which means they control how much light you capture, but they also have an affect on how your photos look. So it's not just about learning how to change those settings so that you can get your exposure indicator to zero wherever you're trying to put it to take a photo. It's also about understanding what the ISO does to your image, how changing the aperture makes your image look, what shutter speed does to motion in your image. All of those things are super important. So those are the first three right there. The next one is your white balance setting. I get questions from people all of the time trying to understand why the colors in their photos look weird and goofy and off. And the simple answer is your white balance affects how the colors in your image look. Most people leave the white balance on auto and then don't realize when they move from one light source to another that that's changing how that final image looks. But if you understand how white balance works, then you can change the white balance as necessary to make sure the colors in your image are perfect. After that, it's choosing your focus points. The other question I get all of the time is why aren't my photos sharp? I'm taking my clicks, but my photos aren't sharp. Or they look sharp on the camera, but when I get back to the computer, they don't look sharp. By default, your camera chooses the focus points automatically, which means that the camera decides what it's focusing on in your image. And that can often mean that it looks sharp when you look at it on the back of your camera, but when you get back and look at what you thought you were focusing on, that is actually out of focus because the camera decided to focus on something else. If you learn how to change and select your focus point on your camera, then you can precisely tell the camera exactly where you wanna focus so that you will know what you want in focus will actually be in focus. And finally, the last setting you should learn how to change and what it means on your camera is the actual image quality setting. Every camera by default saves your images as a JPEG image format. But what many people may not realize is that you also have the option to save as a RAW file. Now, if you're not familiar with the difference between RAW and JPEG, you can check out this video right here, or it might be right here, but either way, Learning the difference between those and then choosing for yourself what file format you want to save your photos in is very, very important because it can have long-term implications on what you can do with your photos. Everything else on your camera is worth learning at some point, but not until you master these settings. Because once you master these settings, you'll understand how to use all of the rest of the settings to complement what you're trying to do. Now, if you have any questions about your camera, let me know down in the comments. And while you're down there, let me know what's the one setting on your camera that confuses you the most. And then do me a favor, would you like this video and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification icon to make sure you won't miss a single one of my videos. And if you really like this video, maybe share it with your friends. But the most important thing you need to do is get out there and take some damn photos. I'll see you on the next live show. It's also about understanding what the ISO does to your image, how the aperture does, how the aperture, how the app, how changing the aperture makes your image look. Thank you for watching. Now I get loads of questions and they all boil down to one thing, which is how do I make my camera do what I want it to do? And here's the thing, your camera is like an instrument and you can't make music if you can't play your instrument. If you want to learn how to play your camera like the instrument it is, visit this link right here to check out my guide to shooting in manual mode video course.